going to be talking about archetypes. Um, we're going to be talking about tunes, agents, and generic support. So we'll let Mr. Cyber Knight start with tunes and how they need support. I want more tune support. There you go. <laughs> Why? Like, what I, do you, what do you I think like they need? Them. I mean, I, I guess I don't really have too much, you know, competitive, you know, talk about it. But it's just like, you know, it's everyone else is starting to get support now. Come on, give Toon some support. I mean, they just look so... got support. Yeah, I mean, and they're doing... hard. Yeah, so and they're what, doing really what, well. What do you think? A new Toon world that, you know, lets you search for a Toon world by, or a Toon monster by discarding a card? A generic draw card that lets you discard one, search for, or draw two? What, or what something that stops... If you have the Toon world out, that you don't have to pay light points or something? Yeah, that's what I was thinking more of, where you wouldn't, you wouldn't have to pay as much light points and stuff. And it's something that could stay on the field a little bit easier, too. You know, like a, a tune world, because that's their, really their main weakness. It's kinda, just tune world. Kind of like the Noble Knights, once per turn it can't be destroyed. Yeah, something like that. Do you, think, you think it would be better as a field spell or a continuous spell? I was kind of thinking field spell. Yeah, since we don't share field spells anymore, I think that's pretty good. You can at least terraforming for it. Yeah, there's more search and everything for it, too. What would be, and, an, uh, what would be an idealistic monster? Like a new tune? Yeah, a new tune. Red eyes. Yeah, that'd be pretty cool. Toon Stratos, search for any Toon ro- or Toon monster in your deck. I think of like Elemental Hero Neos, since it's already got like a uh, the other version of it, the alias form of it. That'd so, be good. So you're you're kind of just going through and doing malefic versions of them, turning them into pretty much at this point. like yeah, Stratus, like a Toon Stardust Dragon. <sighs> yeah, <laughs> Toon Malefic Stardust Dragon. <laughs> Move a or- cut. Or just print that ancient gear golem. I think there was an episode in GX where Pegasus is on there. He used like an ancient gear golem too. I'd love yeah, to see that. There was that. There was some other. Yeah, it was, it was that two verse one duel. I remember that. It yeah. Was, uh, there was also that doppelganger card or whatever it is. I like that card. Take any clone, any card on the field, and slash graveyard. What do you think about that? Do you think that'd be a good thing? Seven nine. Eh, yeah, I think it could work. I mean, it just depends on... It, there's so many anime cards, you really have to think about how would they make them into... They could just you know, slap toward the text. text. You can only activate it when Toon World's on the field. Yeah, that would probably be the way to kind of nerf and it a little bit. chain MST so fast. Well, I mean, MST is only, like, the only three cards in the game right now that actively destroy stuff. I mean, that's sure. everyone's meaning. So, I mean, like, in the competitive sense, it wouldn't be that terrible. But, I mean, Volcanics were only good for one event. They've already been phased out by Necros. And I hate that, too. I was hoping they'd do so much more. Yeah, but, I mean, this is kind of what you get for, you know, Tier 1.5 archetypes entering into the field. You know? Yeah. So, Although, I, I am glad to see Ritual Monsters do well. <laughs> so, I don't know. How do uh, I feel about go this? back and hide and stuff. We don't need them anymore. So... Continuing on with our discussion before certain people in the call have to be rude and interrupt us. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> so, <laughs> resuming our discussion with tunes and volcanics, because they kind of overlap. Honestly, if they get more support, do you think they'll be relevant for more than one or two events? Yeah, I would think so. I mean, it depends on the volcanics. They did, they, what they do, they did that great job, what, going undefeated day one? Yeah, but how much of the deck is actually volcanics, though, like? Nine cards. Whole, like wasn't this whole deck pretty? No, no. Wait, did he? Was he? Was he the one that played hands in his build? Mm-hmm. I, I did. Yeah, I did. Yeah, yeah, he did. Never mind. He had the. Yeah. But it would have been nice to have like a new volcanic card, just like a shell or something, or a scatter shot. Yeah, but honestly, though, like, I'll leave this question to you, Cyber Day. How much of the old tune support would be relevant? Uh, you might still use Toon World, and then I think all the tunes. It, it depends how good, if there is a better Toon World, you know, you might just go with that and forget old Toon World. I mean, so um, we, let's see, what is there? Toon Cannon Soldier, Toon Mass Sorcerer. Toon Gemini Elf will be oh, Toon Gemini Elf will be good. Mm-hmm. No, how about this, though? The Field Spell also give you, like, a 500 attack boost. 200, yeah, that would be good. And then the monsters yeah. can attack the turn they're summoned would be a very yeah. good clause. As well. well, the older tunes are still pretty good. I mean, like the Summon Skull and Blue Eyes. People oh, still. I, I always like the Toon Mass Sorcerer. Toon Mermaid's so awful, though. So is Toon Blue Eyes. So is Toon Dark Magician Girl. Come on. Oh, but now. it's Toon Blue Eyes. <laughs> so, but it still requires dual. But he had the biceps in the in the in the episode that had a volcano on it. Oh my god. Yeah. No, that could be See? an equi- that could be an equip card. The volcanic biceps for tunes or something like that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
<laughs> just combine them. Hope you guys are listening. So, uh, how would you guys? How much support do you think we need on a scale of one to ten? Well, at least there. at least ten cards. Yeah, I have to agree. So ba- basically, a complete overhaul. Pretty much like a burning abyss type of thing. Like you get like five or three or three new cards a set. All right. Well, I guess let's let's go talk about agents. This deck needs to come back so much. The only thing you guys are missing right now is Trishel, and you'll be at 100% power. Well, we need Trish, but I want like more like archetype stuff. Now, people going to get mad. I don't care. I'm basing this off. I know Pluto's not a planet, but in Sailor Moon, <laughs> it's a planet. So we need Pluto, like a Pluto card, a moon type of card, a star card. Now I'm thinking card captors. And like a Gosh. galaxy type of card. We'll be really good. The moon idea I like. Yeah, because we have what? Hyperion's the sun, but we need, like, a moon. Huh. Yeah. Like, make it, like, a, I don't know, a synchro, an exceed, make Pluto or something an exceed or something. Huh. It, actually, I never thought about doing anything with the moon. What What would, like, what do they need effect-wise, do you think? Let's see. We will see. Venus, special summon balls. Mars is dumb. <laughs> Um, more probably like a better searcher or probably like a better sanctuary. So, re- revisiting the moon here, mm. what if they just made, like, Pluto a card but allowed you to summon, like, the, kind of like, you know, Mystic Giant Balls and stuff like that? That'd be good, like, but, like, summon agents instead? Yeah, well, I mean, let's let's get really creative here. All right, so say Pluto has the effect, pay 500, special summon, you know, a, a moon from your deck. But the moon has the clause on the turn it's special summoned. You can't use its effect. And then give it the effect of Lone Fire Blossom to tribute it for a uh, agent monster. That way, you know, you can special summon a couple of them from the deck, but you can't apply their effect on the turn that you summon them, so you're forced to XYZ them. That'd be a good way to that balance good. them out. It should be a quick effect, so you can go on your opponent's turn. Oh, that'd be like... too imbalanced. <laughs> what, what are you thinking, Cyber Knight? Uh, I was thinking, I don't know, it would be kind of cool if uh, somehow Hyperion worked with the Moon card. Kind of like how we have Sun and Moon Dragon already, but, you know, yeah. it a little better. You know, because that would kind of make sense, too, how they cycle. You know, how you yeah, see the Moon, the moon then you see the Sun. Out the Hyperion. Yeah, and vice versa on that or something. They could give Hyperion another, like, they could release another Hyperion. Like, I have noticed Yu-Gi-Oh! tends to do this, where they'll re-release additional cards, basically the same thing, to build on the archetype and things like that. So, I mean, like, if they did do the Moon and a new Hyperion, I think it would kind of work out. I mean, but the thing is, you can also go a little bit further into the archetype, because you remember how the Moon controls the water flow on Earth? Yeah. Um, you can get into more, like, climate um effects and stuff like that for the impact of them so oh yeah the moon galaxy all that type of stuff and we need like a new field spell what would your idealistic field spell be let's see we already what is what's it right now all fairy type monsters can uh don't take battle damage or something yes yes we would need something in the lines of maybe a power boost or if like they destroy like a monster or something or do some damage, you get to like discard something or draw a card or search for another agent from your deck. Pretty much like more rec- like more recruiter status. Or like, you know, like build up like counters or something. And then if you remove counters, you get to search for a Hyperion, you remove like five certain counters or something. Kind of like the S energy training drill. Yeah, like that. Yeah. And that could be like the galaxy too, like you were talking about. Yeah. Does that make sense with them all together? You could make a card called the Milky Way Galaxy. Mm-hmm. Something like that. <laughs> yeah. That'd actually be kind of cool. Like there'd be some spicy stuff you could do with mm-hmm. that for each, you know, one summon put a counter on it, like Cordero said. I could definitely see that being good. All right. Well, I guess um, we're gonna voice our opinions on some generic cards as the last part of this discussion. This one's brought up by me. Um. So guys, what generic? imbalanced cards could they release in Yu-Gi-Oh? Kind of like the new Pot of Greedorosity or whatever it is coming out soon. You mean that trap card? The jar. Yeah. That card is really cool. Oh, yeah. I like it. What do you think else, generic support-wise, that we should get released? Um, I mean, it can be anything good or bad. But, I mean, draw cards... Are, we'll start with draw cards. Draw cards are always the big one. I mean... I would love to see a new version of Card of Sanctity. I think that'd be too powerful. Patrick Holman talked about it on Zodiac today. I know, I saw he was talking about it, but I mean, he brings up a good point. You you enter into a, okay. If each player can play three copies of Card of Sanctity, 
you enter into a point in the game state now to where both players are going to try to play their hand and dedicate as much as they can to the board just to maximize the results. Uh -huh. And you're also entering into a much faster format because each player can play three copies of that card as opposed to one. And at that point in time, you have to ask yourself, you're basically changing the ebb and the flow of the game state. So I think a bunch of cards that we currently see in rotation would probably fall out of favor. You know? What are you thinking, guys? I can see that. Be honest. It'd be nice to have, like, something like that where, like, make both players... You know, like like you said with the card of sanctity, like we can draw our cards out and actually have a good match instead of being like one side like in the cloth. All they do is search all day where you're just sitting there like twiddling your thumbs. Cyber Knight, as, as more of a casual player, like how, how would you feel about something like that? I think it could work. I mean, I'm not really sure. <laughs> I'm trying to, uh, it's kind of, some of this is kind of out of my realms, I guess. I mean, uh, one of the, I mean, I've also seen you make a lot of requests to post and things like that on some of your videos. Please print this. Yeah. I mean, how would that affect? I, I don't know. <laughs> Honestly, I'm trying to think of how it would really work. How would that play in your Noble Knight deck? Three cards that you draw until you have six cards in your hand. You would draw all your Noble Arms and just set the combo up. Yeah, that would help it out a lot. You know, because like I was saying, that's the the flaw mainly with Noble Knights. You got to get the Noble Arms. You're just done <laughs> mainly. Uh, but uh, yeah, I mean that really would help out a lot of different decks too. And something like that. It seems like that's a flaw with a lot of things. I think that there would have to be a stipulation that you could only activate the card if both players have three or less cards in their hand. Because uh, it's, it's not fair if you could play your entire hand turn one, and then I go, oh, I'll draw six cards while you draw one because, you know, you haven't got your turn yet. What if it was like you had so many life points? Like you're under so many life points you could draw. then Because that way it's kind of like, you know, how like a destiny draw sort of thing like they talk about in the anime. You know, this is like your final shot to be able to do something. Oh, that'd be good. A thousand life points. Or pay, oh, half, like that. pay yeah. half your life points or something like that. I mean, yeah. draw a specific card you need. We need something to fill that judgment void for half them life points, so a draw card might be the right way to go about it. I missed that card. I mean, you also have to look at the repercussions of Exodia as well, about making such a powerful yeah. card. I mean, the, the ability to just set five plus one draw cards and then go, all right, I'm going to draw, you know four more cards i'll be happy to have at least for like three months like six cents <laughs> that was a ridiculous point oh, in the game's history I, and i made a video saying they would never do that <laughs> it's like a month before that and then oh, of course here we go six i cents. was just happy i pulled one <laughs> same I, to <laughs> I got one too oh, oh my gosh uh how do you guys feel about monster reborn ever coming back as the generic I want reborn I, that can stay man i would love to see premature burial come back premature is too broken with hidden armory yeah. They can limit him in our blit. Limit it down to one. Hidden Armory plus Snatch Deal in the same format with Premature Burial equals three Hidden Armory per deck. Hey, look at looking like this. Snatch still don't need, I mean, Giant Trinity don't need to come back then. <laughs> you know, no. so, Cyber Knight, once again, like, how do you feel about generic revival cards? Uh, I think Monster Reborn could come back. I, and of course, obviously, it helps out everything. But uh, I don't know. You never know what Konami's going to do. It's so hard to even guess on a lot can't of that stuff. Can't predict them anymore. You just can't. I mean, Snatch Deal come back. I I would have never guessed that, honestly. I never seen that coming, and it didn't even get reprinted. Besides, in Battle Pack. Well, I mean, yeah. we, we have Dragons of Legend two rolling around the corner. Like you know, it's we, wait, do we, we don't have a release date for that we, yet. We don't have a release date. We don't even know if it's confirmed to be a thing yet. But I mean, let's be realistic here. We know we're going to get some kind of broken generic support in there, like Soul Charge. I mean, yeah, it's coming. Hopefully in July, because that's like that's like the only month that we don't have none besides the crossover Soul Special Edition that they just put on their site. All right, well, I guess guys, final thoughts. Konami, give us agent support. When are we? I, I'm still wondering too. Uh, talking about some of these banned cards, I wonder if we're gonna get a, uh, you know, like happened with the OCG. We're gonna see Chaos Emperor Dragon and all these come back. Every destruction like starts coming back with all those little nerf re. Uh, we'll probably not get those until the uh, October block when they do a core reprint of everything. I honestly think, sure. since you just said that, we might get some of these cards reprinted in Gold Series with yeah, the new that's... card text and stuff on them. That that that's the perfect good. time. Wow. Because I also think Shadows might get a reprint, even though Shadows could come back. Maybe because it says Hero cards. 
Strato should have already been back a long time ago. But that's, that's, that's the only thing I can see. I can actually see coming back is Stratos next. Stratos month. has been power creeped eight times over by now. He's such an irrelevant card at this point. It's so sad. I mean, like I love heroes to death, but you know, hero stun is a deck, and Konami doesn't like stun decks the way it seems. Yeah. An- Anti meta gets butt raped every list. Well, too, and you said Return of the Bling. It kind of makes sense, too, since it is called Return. Maybe Return. possibly we could see some of those cards come back. I mean, maybe there's kind of like... Dimension Fusion come back. Okay. But, all the, but, all the, but all the banishing we do, Dimension Fusion would be nice. So, okay, so we're, we're going into the realm of the Bling here. Of all of the cards that got the text change, which one is the most likely to be unbanned in the TCG? Ring of Destruction. Really? You know, yeah, you get something on your opponent's turn, and if some, wasn't some, some with the life points... It's you, was. you receive the damage before your opponent, so it doesn't tie games yeah. anymore. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But you understand the card's still chainable, right? Yeah. Only on your opponent's turn. Yeah, but that that's still ridiculous. We don't have very many chainable cards in the game at the moment. Hmm. So I guess we're all in agreement. We all want ring back. I would love Chaos Emperor back. That ain't I think happen. Chaos Emperor will we be the one that traps. We got Baylor. Oh my god. You guys are crazy. That ain't we happen. still have like Luster. Hey, we got Black Luster, and now Black Luster can be played in the cloths. Black Luster, so oh. Black Luster. Like, let's be real here. <laughs> but now he can be played in the rich in the blue deck. You know, he could always be played in the blue deck. Everything is blue now. Ugh. All right, well, I guess we're going to wrap this up before we go too much further off of the trail of uh, extermin- er, experimentation here. You should do this like a weekly thing. Oh my gosh, it'd be fun. All right, guys, leave a comment down below. Uh, like this video if this is something you'd like to see more often. And, well, I guess I'm out. Thanks for watching. See you guys later. See ya. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please thumbs up this video to show your support. And please check out VanCole40 for Cardfight Vanguard, MCole Games for miscellaneous trading card games, and No Limit Gaming for a brand new series of Yu-Gi-Oh! videos. Thanks for watching. Thanks not moving for like 30 seconds. Mm-hmm. Don't mind me, guys. Yeah, I saw you doing it when I was like, <laughs> my trying to get It's like Grand Theft Auto, how you can do that. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> See, can I make my webcam picture the same size as everyone else's? Or? No, you, ha- you have oh. to be small. I'm small. I don't want to be. <laughs> we, can, we can blow up Cordero's and just focus on Cordero. We can be awesome like that. Uh, that's fine. Took the way to get a vulture's Buddy is we Jeff. Oh, yeah. oh my gosh, the lag is so real. Not even kidding. I didn't understand a word of what Bex said. I didn't hear a word that you just said. You were so schizophrenic. <laughs> oh my oh. god, the lag. Oh. The lag can't be that bad. Yeah, I'm recording this right now. This is going up as an outro blooper. Is it fine now? I should record, I guess, too. <laughs> Well, Cordero, stop out. downloading so much porn so we can record our video. What porn? I was, I was rendering the video. <laughs> That's I why! You're not supposed to download it. You're not... <laughs> okay, I've stopped doing it. Okay, there. Okay, uh, is your computer doing anything inappropriate right now? No. You, would you like to see this thing? All I see is you and Dubpro up. Oh, ooh, <laughs> Dubpro. Mm. <laughs> this, is good. this is gonna be the best blooper ever. I had no fucks given. Like... So shall shall we shall we start? Yeah, what are we here sure. for anyway? Oh uh, well, we're here for Cyber Knight's masturbation problem. Uh, <laughs> so that's what it was. I knew something was going on. Everyone just, invites me to a call. Just kidding, guys. This is not an intervention. <laughs> so.